just a quick video for uh, my friends who have a water powered sump pump as a backup. Uh, right here is the water powered sump pump and it, you notice it has a, uh, a float and generally the float is set for a higher level than this, this pump. This sump actually has a, 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 a submersible pump down there by the white, white pipe. But the water backup is normally set so that it, it doesn't come on at all. And what happens is uh, the, this gizmo here doesn't get any exercise at all. It'd be like if you just sat on your couch for a few years and then all of a sudden had to start bailing water. You wouldn't, you wouldn't feel too good about doing that. So what I want you to do is once a month I want you to come down and I want you to lift up on this and make the water powered pump pump work for a little bit. And it's, it's, uh, it's okay, this one leaks a little bit of water, but that's kind of normal. Okay, and then let it go off. So it's, it's going to take a while for the water to stop flowing. And it will eventually shut off here. So this is Set, your, set a reminder on your calendar every month I want you to come down and run your water powered sump pump for just a little bit so that we know that it works and it doesn't get stuck on. The, the people that get the huge water bills, their pumps will stick uh, and keep running for, uh, and if it does that, it's time to call the plumber. Thanks.